Okay guys, if you have old Anycubic i3 Mega and if you want to upgrade it into the ultra base version, what you need to do is basically choose one of the options. Either you need to buy only the ultra base plate itself with the sticker or purchase the one with the heated bed. If you select option number one and go cheaper and select the ultra base with a sticker, what you need to do is basically remove this big sticker and you remove it all the way up down and then remove this one and then clean this area with an IPA, isopropanol alcohol. You can get a bottle and use a napkin and then stick this one right on top of it. But since I choose option number two in this one, I'm going to replace my entire heated bed and show you how to do that. If you choose the second option, which is to replace the entire heated bed with your Anycubic i3 Mega, first assemble the heated bed with the screws and then stick the ultra base on top of the heated bed. First of all, we have these screws right in here. It comes from Anycubic and we open them up. Right now, let's get our heated bed and turn it like this and get one of the long screws and plug it in from the hole like this and get these plastic washers and install it to the screw and then get the one of the nuts and put it in turn it all the way down and then fasten it with a proper plier as you can see this is very flat let's move on to the next one again same thing looks nice right repeat this process for the all four corners how much you should fasten this knot there's no proper explanation for that but at least fasten it until this head be flat but do not fasten it too much you might damage your heated bed and our screwing is done. Also, if you remember that in one of my previous videos, I was talking about the socket connection placed in here. And as you can see in the ultra base version, it's soldered right here. So there's no socket, which means that we will not have that non-heating heat bed problem with this heated bed. So this is much more proper way. Peel off this blue tape from the edge to get our ultra base and peel off its bag. Right now what we are going to do is to stick this ultra base plate to our heated bed from the top edge where the cables are going. So we will align it from the top. Top corners are aligned and slowly drop it down and make sure that it is stick properly and done. Our ultra base heated bed assembly is properly assembled. Right now we need to install this one into our 3D printer. I like this color. Detach this heated bed from your 3D printer. So first start with removing these. We have all four of them from the each corner. Also do not lose them because we are going to use them for the new heated bed as well. And then lift it up. Save the springs too because we will need them. And then turn your printer towards you. And there's zip tie over here. Cut that zip tie. Right now, we need to turn our printer upside down. Okay, after we turn our printer upside down, we are going to remove these screws in the bottom. There are a couple screws that we need to remove. And there are also two screws in the sides, like that. Take this one off and remove the last screw underneath it and remove the entire bottom plate. Let us first follow the internal cable and see where the heated bed cables are going. Let's take this zip tie off. Be careful to not to cut other cables. The other zip tie off. Okay, after we take off these two zip ties, let's follow the heated bed cable. And this is the cable. And this is where it goes all the way down. And there's this one more zip tie in here that we need to take off. These two are the, our heated bed cables. Keep following them. When you move them up and down, you will see that these two cables are right in here. And we will remove these two cables. The red one is on the left and the black one is on the right. And take our screwdriver and loosen them up and take them off. And these two cables are off, which are the power cables of our old heated bed. And right now we need to follow other two cables, which are coming from the thermistor connection. When we pull that one up and down, we can see that this thermistor connection goes into the here. After unplugging the cables, what I need to do is to pull it back. 
I detach my old Inucubic i3 mega heated pad as you can see okay let's get these new cables and insert them from this hole right in here actually let's open this area a bit more okay after we do that let's place it to the, into the same position make these two cables go down right now we are going to get these two cables underneath the circuit and pull them if you take a look, close look the socket is labeled as plus and minus as well so let's put the plus into the plus and fasten the screw get the black and fasten it in as well so we plug these power cables into the, our main board right now we need to connect our thermistor into its own connection right now let's take a look at take a look close look at the, our thermistor connection as well this thermistor socket is going to get in connection with t1 the orientation of it doesn't matter because thermistors work that way so you don't need to worry about this orientation after we connect them what we need to do is to get our zip ties back so i will put my zip ties into the positions that they were before tie them and cut the extension of the zip tie and there was one here okay i put two zip ties back one here one here okay let's follow the same orientation as we did before place it like that now let our let us put our screws back in in total we have 10 screws that we need to put back as you may remember there was a zip tie in here let's put that one back as well make your zip tie like this hook way and after you make it like a hook put it in line like this until we're ready and zip tie this one back and then we will put our heated bed into our platform put those screws in like this one two and insert them into the holes and put the other two springs and then put the screws into their hole finally put the knobs in after we finish assembling the knobs what we need to do is to put one more zip tie to stabilize this cable but for that first push your heated bed all the way down and make sure that your cable will reach there just do not fasten the zip tie too much just make it gentle so that it can hold it properly and our ultra base plate is ready and let's make it work okay right now after we install our ultra base what we need to do is to change zx's leveling base by four millimeter click home all and it will home all all the axes in the main menu go to the tools and click axis in there see z plus and hit the one millimeter by four times z axis went up by four millimeters when we go behind of the printer we will see that screw right over here now we will fasten this z axis screw four millimeter down until it touches back to this z axis limit switch okay right now it is ready so that we give enough spacing between the nozzle and the heated bed come back to the front of your printer and click home all again when we home it again after we change the z-axis screw height you will be able to see that between edge of the nozzle and the surface of the new build blade there is an enough gap so that when we loosen these knobs we will be able to level it better this is the end of my video right now what you need to do is to manually level any cubic i3 mega rather than assistive leveling technology comes with them which is a little bit sad but ultra base worth installing it because it will make your life easier to remove the object thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see the upcoming video